Hi, down then. You're seeing Anne in the room. She's having a radiotherapy treatment. So first of all, she'll lie down. The radiographers will check her date of birth address, make sure she's the right person. When you've had an operation to remove a cancer from the breast, we often follow up with a course of radiotherapy, which is X-ray treatment. It's usually given on a daily basis for either three or four weeks, Monday to Friday. Okay, just gonna pop a little pen mark on there. We are checking that we're exactly in the right position. The usual process for somebody with a localised breast cancer is to have an operation to either remove the lump or, or remove the breast if the tumour's large, and then the radiotherapy would come afterwards. For some patients, we give a course of chemotherapy as well, which would be sandwiched between the two. It would normally be surgery and chemo, or vice versa, with the radiotherapy at the end. Another little pin mark. Radiotherapy um, was astonishingly easy. It's very much like having an MRI scan or, you know, x-rays. You don't feel a thing, you just have to lie there nice and still and it doesn't take very long. So you're talking about 10-15 minutes in a room. If you need anybody at any point, you just raise your hand and somebody will come in and help you. Right, I'm just going to pop outside. Watching you all the time, OK. The way radiotherapy works is by uh, damaging the DNA in the cancer cells. Normal cells in the body can recover that damage very well, whereas cancer cells can't. So we can exploit the difference between the repair mechanisms of normal tissue and the cancer tissue. It's extremely important that we check that you are not pregnant. If at any point during your treatment you feel that you may have become pregnant, you must tell a radiographer. You do tend to get a little bit of sunburn because the radiotherapy um, tends to burn the area of the skin that's being aimed at. What you end up with is a pink square on your chest like you would with sunburn. It's usually like a mild sunburn, but very occasionally the skin can peel or be more, more sore. And you may get a bit of swelling in the breast. The other downside of the radiotherapy is the tiredness. But it's manageable, you know, it's an inconvenience, it's not something that um, anybody should get distressed about. It's something that builds up during your treatment and it can last for quite a long time afterwards. It's not unusual to still have some fatigue a year post-treatment. Um, the one thing that we do suggest that you do is keep doing some exercise because this will really help with the tiredness that you're experiencing. The estimate I was given, 9 to 12 months, was absolutely right. As I got to the end of that period, I realised that you know, the kind of tiredness was going and um, I was back to my old self again. You can use most skin, skin care creams that you like, anything that you would normally use, put it on. You can wash normally, you can shower normally. If we're treating the left breast, there is an issue that the heart is on the left side of the body. So potentially we can skim the heart with the radiotherapy fields, but there's lots of new techniques now to help avoid that. And again, with the new planning processes and the more accurate radiotherapy we give these days, that's not really an issue. At the end of the course of treatment, we do have a treatment bell. So you can go out to the waiting area and you ring it three times and it's supposed to give you good luck. Right, let's do that again, shall we? <laughs>